hello everyone welcome back to simply nicole i hope you guys are all doing well and have just some form of positive energy into your life somehow whether you're reading something positive watching someone positive on the internet meditating getting still i hope you're trying to seek positive energy um but today i had a message i had a, i had a message i've been really wanting to share i've just been trying to figure out how i want to share it but okay i hope i don't look crazy but um i just want to think about something else so something that i'm being reminded of in this I've been, I've been being reminded of a lot of things in this season of my life and I'm just going to try and mention them, bring them up and make a lesson out of it. One thing that I've been learning in this season of my life is growth. The past two and a half years I dedicated to personal growth, personal development, gaining knowledge on life relationships love dating just as much knowledge as i can get to really transform my mindset to really transform my mind and the way that i view life the way that i view relationships and everything that i just mentioned in life and business to transform my mind and help me think from a different perspective and to really when you transform your mind you're able to really get the results that you want that's what coaching is and i kind of feel as though i coach myself kind of um by just taking taking courses watching youtube videos reading books coached myself to change my mindset and i think at this point it's gotten to a point where in my journey as an entrepreneur i'm ready to share what i've learned with the world share what i've learned with the world through videos media however i want to do that that's where i am in my journey is sharing the wisdom and knowledge that i've gained with other people pouring back into other people's lives and i mean this on a grand scale as well as just on a much smaller scale so through youtube you reach so many people it's limitless same with instagram but like even just in person in my personal life everyone i'm coming in contact with trying to somehow pour into them somehow pour into them as a as a light that i am and so with so much growth, like just going through so much growth, those pat those two and a half years, especially going through that growth alone in solitude, really it can be difficult sometimes. And I just realized in this season now where I am, I'm I'm kind of having to ask myself as I go through our life, is does this represent growth? Does this mindset that you're having about this situation represent growth? Does this action that you want to take right now regarding this situation or the dynamic represent growth? Is that growth or is that a previous older mindset that we're trying to heal from, that we're trying to not, we're trying not to act on and relish? Is this something that we're trying to get rid of? Is this a way of thinking that we're trying not to entertain? I'm constantly having to ask myself, okay, before you do that, is this growth? Is this the is this the the new Nicole? I've spoken on my channel about the old Nicole and the new Nicole. Is this the new Nicole? Is this the, the Nicole that is who is is going to be in the next five years that has achieved all of these things and has become this amazing person? Is that her? That's what I'm having to ask myself. Is that is this growth? Does this action that you're about to take represent growth or does this represent pain? Does it represent unhealed pain? Does it represent weakness? Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that on your journey. Ask yourself that as you're going throughout things. I tell you guys, you don't want to go through life on autopilot. No sense of standards, no morals, no boundaries. Grow, learn, figure out who you are, figure out what your standards are. Learn how to enforce boundaries and make sure that everything that you do, every action that you take represents the, the, the version of you that has grown, the version of you that has matured so that you can go and attract better like that, more people in your life that have grown, that have done the work, that have healed, that have matured. So you can attract those kind of people into your life. So growth 
also not settling. I have to remind myself of that in that season. You still can't settle. It doesn't matter what you may think. You are not settling. <laughs> I don't care what, what you may think, what it may look like. If it's not what you've been praying for, if it's not what you know you deserve, if it's not what you know is, is best for you, then no. And in one of my affirmations that I posted today, I, oops, before I say it wrong. I trust that when it is time to let something go, I will. So whatever that may be for you, whenever something in your life is no longer serving you, don't settle and, and, and just have it around. No, let it go so that you can attract better and what's best for you. And so don't settle, guys. And it's so interesting. I just want to end on this note. I saw a TikTok <laughs> the other day. Um, yeah, I've been on there too much. But it's good. To, it's good research, really. But I saw a TikTok of this girl and I told y'all about dating. I told you guys about dating apps. But I told you guys it was a TikTok about this girl who uh, I think she might have gone on a dating app and was supposed to be meeting up with him, made plans. Basically, he ended up canceling and she felt bad. She'd already gotten dressed up and she felt bad. She was crying. And then she made another video saying, you know, it just feels so bad. She says, this is the part that really got me. <laughs> she said, I'm 27 years old. I've never been in a relationship. And she said, I don't know what it's like to go on vacations. I don't know what it's like to just have someone care for me. And I just get really, you know, emotional and upset because she really wants that feeling. She really wants a relationship. And I see this rhetoric a lot on TikTok of girls. And first of all, to be 27, that's so young. And she was so beautiful. And I felt, I just wanted to like, send her this video <laughs> but um guys <laughs> for me here's the first thing that popped into my mind because me neither I'm 23 and I've never been you know in a relationship know what it's like to be cared for and loved on by a significant other taking vacations but see what I've learned on my journey which is why you have to go through this growth you have to expand your mind and grow what I learned is guys the grass is not always greener on the other side. Just because you're single right now, when you're single, being in a relationship looks good to you and vice versa. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, being single looks good to you because we always want what we can't have. But the grass is not always greener on the other side. The grass is going to be greener where you water it. So my what I took away from that is because personally, I don't feel sad about not being in a relationship or all that stuff but i say look i'm in a single season of my life how can i make the most out of the season how can i water my grass over here so that it's looking green <laughs> for whoever you know is i'm gonna attract how can i water my grass oh i can do that by working on myself working on my self-love learning how to love myself love myself my mind my body my spirit pouring into myself that's what you have to do. And I don't I don't want I don't want ladies when you're young in your 20s don't have the mindset of oh I just want to be in a relationship so bad. I understand that. Everybody does. That's that's nature. That's human nature. That's normal. But don't go seeking after that. Seek you. Seek your your creator. Seek your purpose. Seek your passion. Find those things because that's what's important. That will make you more attractive anyway to the man that's for you. And you won't, you won't really be your best self. It's like how, how, and I wrote this down. How are you guys expecting really to, to be in a relationship, to love someone and you don't even know how to love yourself? Loving yourself, if you're strong and not insecure and really love yourself in that situation, you shouldn't even, it shouldn't even matter yeah it was his loss and she said that as well but sweetheart you gotta have more for you you gotta have more going for you and i have my notebook here because i always have my notes here i'm always taking notes i'm always 
I told you guys I'm on a growth journey. It's not a game. Yeah, one of the quotes that I wrote down, what makes you think you're ready to love someone in a healthy way if you don't even know how to love yourself in a healthy way? In a healthy way. <laughs> so, so you guys don't realize so many people in their relationships, it's not healthy. So I think so many times we compare, com we just, we, we compare ourselves it's all the time. Compare, 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 compare. Look at everyone else's life. Oh, I wish I could have what they had. Wish they seem so happy. They seem so this. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what they go through, but you know what you want. You know what God has for you. You know that you want a healthy relationship. You want, you know, a faithful relationship. You want, you know, soulmate attraction, deep connection. That's what you want. But in the meantime, you're comparing yourself to something, to an idea that may look like that, but it's not even that. It's so many people that are not actually happy in relationships. Be probably because they didn't do the work on themselves when they were single to love themselves and become happy, become fulfilled on your own. Find that, you know, on your own and stop looking for the end of the person. Don't ever depend on another person to make you happy. Nobody can ever make you happy. Only you can do that. <laughs> um... So it's just, it's so much, it's so much. And with relationships, it's not always what it seems. It's not what it seems. Like that's another thing that popped into my mind when she said, you know, she's, she, she doesn't know what it's like to go on vacations. Yeah, vacations look great on Instagram. Vacations look great on Instagram, you know? But, but there, there's certain things that you don't see before the picture was taken. Before the relationship goals, picture, and vlog was posted, you don't see the argument that they may have had. You don't see the woman and how maybe unhappy she really is on the inside in that relationship or how insecure the man may feel or how the insecure the woman might feel or how their families maybe don't get along. It's not, the grass isn't greener on the other side. There's always going to be a struggle, a sense of struggle ups and downs no matter what phase of your life that you're in single or in a relationship but i think what you can do when you are single is focus on you work on you and heal you and that is my message for today and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see